Psoriasis is a skin condition that causes flaky patches of skin which can form scales. And in this video, we're going to cover four treatment options for psoriasis that affects your scalp, which is actually quite a common condition. Now, as a recap, the patches of psoriasis can look pink or red and the scales white or silvery. On brown and black skin, the patches can also look purple or dark brown and the scales may look gray. Now, in terms of how common it is, psoriasis affects around two in a hundred people in the UK, and it can start at any age, but it most often develops in adults between 20 and 30 years old, and then again, between 50 and 60 years old, and it can affect men and women equally. In terms of the severity of psoriasis, well, it varies greatly from person to person. For some people, it's just a minor irritation, but for others, it can have a really big impact on their quality of life. It's also important to mention that psoriasis is a long-lasting or chronic disease that usually involves periods when you have no symptoms or mild symptoms, then followed by periods when the symptoms are more severe or they flare up. So now that we've recapped what psoriasis is, well, let's cover four potential treatment options for the scalp. Now, because of the overlying hair, scalp psoriasis can be difficult to treat, and it usually needs a combination of different medicines which you apply directly onto the scalp, which can be creams, shampoos, or gels. Now, these are known as topical medicines. In this video, I'm going to provide a broad overview of four main topical treatments for scalp psoriasis, which are topical steroids, vitamin D-like chemicals, medicated shampoos, as well as descaling ointments. So first of all, let's start off with topical steroids. Now, topical steroids are frequently used to manage scalp psoriasis. Potent and very potent steroids like clebetazole are often used, and these are available as lotions, gels, foam, as well as prescription shampoos. Now, these are more suitable than ointments and creams for hairy areas because they are less sticky. The skin is also much thicker on the scalp, so there is less concern of developing side effects from using topical steroids on the scalp, things like thinning of the skin as well as easy bruising. Nonetheless, you should only use steroids for the shortest amount of time possible, and it is worth speaking to, to your doctor about the side effects of steroids before using them. Now, option two are vitamin D-like chemicals. Now, these can also be used on the scalp. However, these have been shown to be less effective compared to topical steroids for scalp psoriasis. Now, there are combination products containing both topical steroid and vitamin D-like chemicals that are effective. Again, it's worth speaking to your doctor if this could be a potential treatment option for you. Option three are medicated shampoos containing ingredients including coal tar, coconut, and salicylic acid, and these can be helpful to manage scalp scaling in mild psoriasis. Now, whilst I can't personally endorse any medicated shampoos, I have included a link in the description box of this video from the National Psoriasis Foundation, which has got some shampoos that patients have recommended. Now, option four are descaling ointments. These again contain salicylic acid and coconut oil, and they can be applied for several hours or overnight to treat thick, scaly areas before washing it out with a shampoo. Now, it's sometimes easier to rinse off the descaling ointment by applying shampoo to dry hair before getting it wet. Now, when you're using the medicated shampoos and descaling ointment, you should do these things. Firstly, part the hair and apply the descaling ointment onto the psoriasis area. Leave it on for one hour or overnight, depending on what the instructions are. Put an old towel over your pillow to avoid staining if you're leaving it on overnight. And when you go to wash off the shampoo, first massage it into your scalp. Leave it on for five to 10 minutes before rinsing it off. And sometimes it is easier to do this if the hair is still dry. Once you've rinsed or washed the hair, use a comb to remove dandruff or the dead skin that has come off. Now, in terms of specific medicines and shampoos, it's worth speaking to your pharmacist to see which specific ones they recommend for you. Or like I mentioned, you can visit the National Psoriasis Foundation website, which contains lots of great information, not only on scalp psoriasis, but also psoriasis in general. Now, if your scalp psoriasis is not responding to over-the-counter treatments from the pharmacist, or it's becoming more severe, or it looks infected, or it's painful, then you should go and see your doctor. I hope you found the video informative and helpful, and if you'd like to learn more about psoriasis, please check out the links in the description box of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments section. I will try my best to get back to you, and until next time, thank you for watching, and bye.